It's a coin collection. Well, perhaps you could sell it. I'd hate to see you forced out of business, Mr. Cooper. But the company simply can't give you any more time. They've told me that if you can't raise the money to repay them, they're going to have to foreclose in a week. They'll take away your store. Certainly the most peculiar place I've ever seen. Good grief! When was the last time you ate? Well, it's not for me, Wilma. It's for my friend, Zachariah. Zachariah? That's a strange name. Where does he come from? Oh, uh, well, he travels around a lot. Oh. Well, why don't you bring him over here? You know I like to meet new people in the neighborhood. Well, he's just getting used to things. Oh, I see. Well, tell him he's welcome here anytime. Hey, thanks, Wilma. I wonder where that boy got to. Does not, I'll never see him or my boot again. But what would a body be doing with only one boot? Maybe I should just go back through the trunk. This place is the size of a cow pasture. There you are. Oh, that's a terrific job, Coop. I can't even tell it's been repaired. Thank you. My pleasure. Hope your friend wears it in good health. What's the matter, Coop? What did that man want? Oh, it's nothing for you to worry about. Well, maybe I could help you out. Oh, I don't think so, Tim. But thanks. I could come back later, and we could talk about it. Oh, you best be on your way, Tim. Don't be worrying about me. Well, okay. Thanks again, Coop.
Someone shot at me. I tell you, I was downstairs looking at one of those car things when all of a sudden... Nobody shot at you, Zach. I think I know what it was. Yes, they did, Timothy. I was right there, and it sounded like a cannon went off. Calm down, Zach. Here's your boot and some stew if you're hungry. Oh, thank you. That's kind of you. I'll be back in a minute. a bit hasty judging the boy. I could have sworn that it well, was... Well, it's a long story. You know, there's this guy. His name is Bernie. He chases me all over the place. Say, I owe you. Bye. Sing along and have fun with today's special, coming up next on the Access Network. about you, Coop. You've been sitting there for the last ten minutes just staring at your coin collection. Well, just doesn't seem fair. Thanks. See you again. Well, I know you don't want to sell your coin collection, but what else are you going to do if you want to keep your shop open? Oh, well, it's not that simple, Wilma. See, I don't want to part with the collection now because it isn't complete. What do you mean? Well, I still need an 1871 British Apenny. If I sell the collection without it, it's not as valuable because it isn't complete. Oh, a hay penny. Is that the same as a half penny? Yeah, same thing. Oh. And if I don't find one, this isn't going to be worth enough to hold off the foreclosure. Maybe I just better tell him to close up my shop. Oh, don't talk that way. The street wouldn't be the same without you. Huh, you've been here as long as I can remember. I guess maybe you're right, Wilma. I'll bet at one time or another I fixed everybody's shoes on this street. Well, there's got to be a way. Well, I've tried every coin store in the city. I guess it isn't that easy finding an 1871 halfpenny. <laughs> well, let's see what we got here. Well, best I can come up with is a 1957 quarter. Well, I guess I better get back to the shop. A couple of people are going to call me if they find the coin. Well, don't feel so bad. I'm sure it'll all work out. Well, I sure hope so. And I wonder. Listen, if it's okay, I'll drop by later and pick up those shoes you died for me. 
Sure. They turned out well. Well, I'll see you later. And Coop. Yeah. Cheer up. Outside. No, not on your life. I'll make sure nothing happens to you. No, thank you very much, but I'll stay right here. You can't stay here forever. Why don't you go out and meet my friends, Coop and Roma? But all I want to do is go back a hundred years to where I came from. It's not far from here. There's too much noise out there. I don't like it and I don't understand it. All those carriages without horses running around like that. Are you sure that's the real reason that you don't want to go out there? Well, I... Are you sure that it isn't that you just don't want to meet my friends? Well, they probably won't like me. You haven't even given them a chance. People usually don't. I told you before, they don't trust me. Well, all right. I'll give them a chance. It certainly was kind of them to fix my boot and send that food over. Great! Hello, Mr. Cooper. Hello, Mr. Cornell. I'm afraid I've got some bad news for you. My boss told me that we're going to have to foreclose on your shop if you don't come up with the money by this afternoon. This afternoon? You told me I had a couple of more days. The reason I'm behind on my payments is that I've been sick. I'm sorry, Mr. Cooper, but there's nothing I can do about it. The company's just following normal policy. This afternoon, huh? At four o'clock. I really am sorry, Mr. Cooper. Sure. It's not your fault, Mr. Cornell. See it for. Sure hope I hear from one of those people about that half penny. What's that smell? What smell? Oh, that smell. It's just the exhaust from the cars. I tell you, horses smell a darn sight better than that. I don't like it one bit. How much further is it? It's just the next block. I should have told you, when you come to a corner like this, you should stop and wait for the green light. Oh, oh yes, I, I see. Hi, Tim, who is your new friend? Hi, Penelope. Hey, mister, how come you're so scared? He's not scared. Hey, mister, how come you're wearing a hat like that? My daddy doesn't wear a hat like that. Don't pay any attention to her, Zach. I'll be right there. Oh, it's me, Coop. Oh, hello there, Tim. Come on back. I'm making myself a cup of coffee. There's something familiar. The smell of boot leather and polish. Come on, Zach. Don't be so shy. Hi, Coop. This is a friend of mine, Zachary Gibson. Oh, hello there. Any friend of Tim's is a friend of... Anything wrong? Uh, this pot is boiling and there's no fire under it. How can that be? Well, it's electric. Electric? That's right. You just plug it into the wall. <laughs> now, that's the most peculiar thing I ever laid eyes on. Uh, Zach wanted to thank you for fixing his boot. Oh, yes, thank you. Thank you very much. You did a fine job. Oh, here's Zachariah. Let me get you a cup of coffee. 
Oh, did you get the coin you needed, Coop? Uh, not yet, Tim. Seems like finding an 1871 ape is about the hardest thing in the world to do. I have to have one by 4 o'clock this afternoon or I'll lose my store. But it's not that hard to find an 1870. Oh, excuse me. There's Mrs. Slater. You know, I don't think he likes me very much. Sure he does. I can tell. <laughs> what did he mean about the halfpenny? Well, he's been looking for one to complete his collection so we can sell it. Otherwise, the mortgage company is going to take away his store. It's terrible. Here now, Zachariah. <clears throat> Let me get you that coffee. Timothy, quickly, how do we get back to the factory? Why? Well, I've got an idea, but you've got to show me the way back to your place. Okay. See you later, Coop. <clears throat> later? I just heard about a new coin shop over town called the Can-Am Coins. Have you tried that one? No, I haven't. Well, come on. They might have the coin. Right. I'll get my coin. Yeah. Chief Lawrence, I wish Zach had let us go with him. I wonder what he's up to. Well, he said he knew his way back to Coops. So let's go, okay? Where is that jar I keep all the change in? Ah. Just what did he need? Oh, that's right. An 1871 British halfpenny. There. And there's two of them for him. Why am I doing this? I didn't like it that much a hundred years from now. I like Timothy Pilgrim, but I don't much like all that noise and everyone running around the way they do. And I don't think his friend Coop liked me very much. Perhaps I'll just stay here. But I do feel kind of sorry for the old man, though, losing his shop like that. A couple of halfpennies. Hardly enough to buy a bar of soap or a few pieces of candy. Only to him it would make the difference between having his store or losing it. It must be four o'clock. I better hurry.
Mr. Cooper, I'm really sorry I have to do this. One good turn deserves another, Mr. Cooper. Consider this as payment for fixing my boot. What's this? Help, it's a coin! It's a hankery! Oh! Now I can pay you, Mr. Cardinal. <laughs> You know, that's the first time I can remember doing something for somebody and not expecting something in return. You did gain something. What's that? You made a friend. I'll bet Coop will never forget what you did for him today. Isn't it odd, Tim? I had to come a hundred years ahead of my own time to find out how easy it is to make a friend. You know, it feels kind of good. Sing along and have fun with today's special, coming up next on the Access Network. I don't think I'll ever get used to all that traffic. That's one of my most prized possessions, Tim. That's the most beautiful watch I've ever seen. Yes, it is a pretty thing. Where did you get it? I was on a schooner as a cabin boy when I was only a few years older than you. The first mate was my best friend, and when we parted, he gave it to me. It had belonged to his grandfather. Tim, I have to start thinking about getting back to my own time. Why? Don't you like it here? Well, uh, to tell the truth, I'm a darn sight more comfortable in my own time. But that's not the only reason. My wagon can't sit on that lady's land forever, so I've got to go back and buy myself a horse. And winter's coming on, so I'll soon have to get moving. Actually, I thought I'd try this afternoon. Could I come with you? I'd really like to go back in the past. Well, I don't know. Please, Zach. 
there is one little problem. What's that? There are a lot of mysterious things about this trunk. What do you mean? I'm not too sure, but I think it moves around a bit from place to place. I've lost it a couple of times. Mind you, it seems to turn up sooner or later. I don't care. I just want to go back a hundred years. <laughs> Let's be on our way. Martha, the neighbors are having another uh, cooperation be to raise a barn for Fred Sutherland. Oh, you know we don't get involved with those silly things, Horace. But, but Martha, it's just that his barn burned down last week, and I thought we might be able to take over some wood. Well, or perhaps help at the barn raising. There's going to be a party. The Lord helps those who help themselves, Horace. If they want a barn, let them build it. It has nothing to do with me. But Martha, dear... I'll hear no more about it. And yes, Horace, dear. I want you to go and see if that traveling quack has moved his wagon off the backfield. If he hasn't, I'm going to burn it to the ground. But Martha, dear, don't you oh. think that... And what's this trunk doing in here? It even looks like his trunk. What trunk, dear? That trunk. There's no trunk there, dear. Oh. Darned if I know, but anything's better than where we just came from. Oh, wilt thou leave me so unsatisfied? Is this how people talk around you? I can't even tell what he's saying. Oh, no, Tim. He's reading Shakespeare. What satisfaction canst thou have? The exchange of thy love's faithful vow for mine. I gave thee mine before thou didst request it. Oh! Uh, uh, might I help you, uh, gentlemen? Good day to you. I'm... Uh... I'm looking for a horse. Well, uh, you'll not find one here. <sighs> no, I suppose you're right. Uh, perhaps if you tried at some of the farmhouses uh, down the road. Oh, thanks, I I'll do that. Uh, uh, I want to be an actor. Uh, so I rehearse between trains. Your young friend here behaves as though he's never been inside a railway station before. Never seen one this old. Young man. 
This station was built only last year. Ah, well, we'll be on our way. Many thanks for your advice. Parting is such sweet sorrow that I shall say good night till it be morrow. Yes. <sighs> what a beautiful day for a walk. You know, I think I can see a house over there. Well, aren't there any buses around here? Buses? Oh, no. It's either by horse or by foot. Come on. Dear ma'am. Oh, hello. Could we help you with that? That would be very kind of you. My name is Mrs. Clark. Zachariah Gibson and Timothy Pilgrim at your service. daughter Mary. Hello Mary. Now what can we do for you? Uh, well ma'am, I'm, I'm looking to buy a horse. I'm in need of one to pull me wagon. My husband has an extra horse, but he's using her for the harvest right now. Oh, I'm sorry. 